Two men, including a baggage handler for Delta Airlines, have been charged with sneaking 131 weapons in carry-on bags on flights from Hartsfield Airport in Atlanta to JFK in New York. Weapons included AK-47s and AR-15s, and what's more, some of them were actually loaded. The arrest warrant calls the operation, quote, one of the biggest security breaches in recent years. CNN aviation correspondent Renee Marsh joins me now live to talk more about this. So, Renee, the question, I guess, uh, is on a lot of people's minds. How could a guy get guns onto flights in a carry-on backpack? How can this happen today? That is the big question. And really, when you hear the details, it's an alarming breach in airport security. Here's how it happened, according to investigators. The gun supplier was an Atlanta-based Delta Airlines baggage handler. His name, Eugene Harvey. He used his airport security clearance to bypass security checkpoints and get the guns into the secure area. Once his accomplice, who is a former Delta employee, Mark Henry, cleared TSA, the two men would then communicate via text message they'd meet in an airport bathroom and that's where the transfer would happen and that Randy is how more than a hundred guns were smuggled onto passenger planes with others on board during a seven month period now investigators eventually closed in on this uh, on this ring on this scheme uh, earlier this month they arrested Henry once he landed at JFK and here's a breakdown of what they found he had 18 handguns in his bag seven of them were loaded uh, as you mentioned off the top a total of a uh, of 129 handguns, two assault rifles were smuggled in this operation. Now, they were being sold on the streets. The problem is uh, they did not realize that the buyer was an undercover cop. Uh, it happened at least five times where they smuggled these guns onto Delta airplanes traveling from Atlanta to New York. I have reached out to Atlanta Hartsfield about the security procedures and whether changes are coming because this really does come down to an airport security issue. Uh, that employee had access to the secure, secure area. It opens the question, uh, is there uh, a loophole here that allows this sort of thing to happen? Yeah, and to think that, that uh, a handful of them, more than a handful of them were loaded, uh, it's really pretty incredible. What about, I mean, is this happening at other times, I mean, it took them a while to, to discover this. I mean, any idea how often this is happening, whether it's with guns or, or weapons or even drugs? Yeah, you know, it does happen, and it's happened before, and CNN has covered it before in the past, uh, and that's the other alarming thing. I mean, you look as far back as 2009, we've done stories on this, 2010. I, I mean, uh, most recently, we know that an Air Tran uh, employee was sentenced to 10 years. Uh, in that case, uh, investigators say that this individual agreed to smuggle a machine gun as well as cocaine on board a commercial airplane. H here's what the situation is. Oftentimes, airline and air Airport workers, they undergo a uh, security vetting process and then they receive badges that give them access to the secure or even the restricted parts of the airport, and they are not required to be screened on a daily basis by TSA at many of these airports. Uh, so now many calling into question whether that is the proper pr procedure. Randy? And what is Delta's response in all of this? Well, the airline says that they are cooperating with the investigation and they're leaving it at that. But again, uh, they say they're supplying investigators with whatever info that they need.